When I look outside now and it's raining, I just need a little bit of my time to sit and contemplate. And generally when I do that, it's contemplating the next meal. Lunch today was a, what would one call a rice croquette. Tonight there's a chicken schnitzel. I'm very looking forward to it. And again, on the Italian theme, there is a pasta dish coming up as well. You have this Italian side of uh, things that Peter cooks. Unfortunately, viewers, you will not get to see. He's very sensitive to his Italian friend's recipe. So we won't show you any prepping of that. It's a very highly secretive recipe that's been handed down from generation to generation. They're not too big on having it plastered all over the world. He sort of explained to me the Bruce Lee phenomenon where Bruce Lee had taken what was an ancient art of the martial arts to the Western world and some say bastardized the whole thing. And I'm also a little bit scared that there is a Calabrian connection and we know about our friends in Calabria. We don't really want to upset them and find myself in an awkward situation and I think it's best to be alive than have no career at all. From the producers and myself an apology. We mentioned last night about the schnitzel. We realized that the Calabrians were serious and the threats became real. I was threatened with waking up with roadkill next to me in my bed and the knife and fork and spoon possibly through my throat. And in all respect of that, we approached the Calabrian family and they allowed us to just show the tasting of the pasta. And as it is the last night, Peter has been challenged with only what was left over in the van. So tonight, Peter has final pasta dish. It will be followed by noodles and all leftover ingredients. We didn't really have much left, so we've gone for a cross-cultural meal. Let's taste it now. Seeing we've been eating in the meth and the camping ground recreation room, I thought it quite apt that I put on some creative display of cravatism. Anyway, the Italian content Peter was challenged with, here is his pasta. He's kept to the original Italian recipe. He has slipped something in there that gives it just a, a touch more zing than usual. Calabrian families, rest assured your respect is intact. I'm sure any godfather would, would just love up there in par with any Italian spaghetti. I look forward to the Asian content of tonight's double meal.